Hey, Matt, Rory. Hey. What do you think about feet? I, I wish you had shown the menu. The how about, menu is... How about some knees? <laughs> a tunic? A, a giant beard? That's not the guy. A jaunty hat. What type of has, hat is that? It's always Robin Hood. It's put the only a, thing I can think of. Put them, a, all, put them all together. Is that a toque? Uh, what? Oh my goodness. If you put all those things together, you got Graham of Daventry. We're back from more King's Quest. Remember this game? I did. I do. It was a long time ago this first episode came out. Yeah, uh, we played the first chapter of King's Quest in what, August? Ah, uh, you I wouldn't know. It's been so long I don't remember the specific month. I, I think it was early August that uh, chapter one of this came out. Uh, this King's Quest is great. I know I said that the last time. Do you, do you remember that? I remember you liking it. I remember you seemed like you had a good time with it. Uh, I would like to reiterate that, that, that this King's Quest reboot is great. What do you think? They, uh, want, to, they want to know what color uh, pants to order. I would do... Aren't, aren't they... Isn't that like... Aren't they light, st striped with like both colors? I'm just going to pick. Okay. Man. I know the material is more expensive, but the quality speaks for itself. Splendid choice, your majesty. Why was purple always the color of royalty? Was it just because it's expensive uh, to die, or what? I don't know. Who says the purple is the color of royalty? It was legally, you cannot oh, legally, really? legally wear purple oh, unless wow. you're royalty in a lot of countries. I had no idea. Or at least I believe that was the case in England for a while. I'm totally, I'm totally just doing my usual quick look thing of saying stuff that I have no idea if it's true or not. Non-stop, non-sequiturs. That's what you're here for. Uh, you might have noticed that the, the, uh, Graham is now King Graham. It seems a little less cell shady than before, or maybe it just seems more subtle. It's really well done. Oh, I don't know about that. Uh... Send in the guards, force them back underground, and don't forget your swords this time. I don't know, it's, it's a little weird. The, uh, you finish chapter one by winning, like, the knight's tournament and becoming uh -huh. a knight of Daventry. Yep. And then you start chapter two and you're just king. Like they mention, I mean, they mention in chapter one that the King Edward has no heirs, so I guess it's ah. kind of, I guess it's, I guess it's implied that you're going to become king if you win. But like, it, it's a little jarring that it's just like, ah, you're king now. Have there been any heir puns yet? Oh God, dude, this thing is rotten with awful, amazing puns. It's they use the heir pun twice in the original King's Quest series. Yeah, like, it's so good. But, heir today, gone tomorrow. Yep. To heir is human. I think yep. was the other one. I think I think that's right. I'm not sure. Well, maybe. The, the first chapter of this is just absolutely burst. Like, it's it's basically a running joke that he is full of awful puns. Uh, it's handled really well. The writing, like, all the writing in this is great. Like, the, the performances, the casting, like, it's it's really funny. Who is uh, the developer on this again? Uh, the Odd Gentleman. I wasn't even listening to the question, oh god. Yeah. Like, Not tonight. Uh, Let's reschedule. Whisper and never again. Opposite day. Yes means no, and no means yes. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, they uh, they made uh, the misadventures of PB Winterbottom. Did you like again? Ring any bells? Who's Glada? Which addendum should we enact? Oh, are you? Are, do you not even have time for this? Or uh, I mean, oh, kind you of. do have a timer on this. Okay, yeah. I see. Uh, okay. You're not going to be king too long, I don't think. No. Oh, God. I, I don't know that it even been, uh... Never-ending beef stew sounds good. Oh, God. I think it's just... It's put together really well, you know? Yeah. Like, the, the, like the animation is great. Like, just the camera work. It's really... And here's a... Out! Everyone! I need a moment. It's got an energy to it that I really like. His problem is uh, and they've even amped some of that stuff up in in this second chapter. Like it's obviously they've gotten a little more comfortable with uh, like the presentation and stuff. I'm going to get some air. But sire, get some air, you mean? Ah. Uh, I'm going to visit Wenty. Terrible. This custard pie always calms me down. As you wish, your Majesty. Hey, I'm playing. Custard pie. I'm playing this adventure game. Go to that mirror and see if uh, you, that's a mirror that you saw that vision in. Can you uh, actually yeah, it's go? the one that you you saved from the dragon. At the and can you look at it? Huh. I'm not sure if this hat fits me. Oh, it's because he's uncomfortable with ruling, the the duties of the. Wow, going deep, yeah. Yeah, it's a literary, uh -huh. literary thing. Yep. Had to cut the sign of a... Uh, there's a bunch of stuff that apparently is going to carry over, like choices and stuff. Good. Supposedly. 
at Mass least. Effect I mean, style. They've, they've made it seem that way, but uh, on this PC, I actually didn't finish. Armor never suited me. Uh, chapter one, so I don't know like how it. I guess it's just got some default choices that oh, it rolls yeah. in. Uh, but this episode is like, man, they make you they make you make some heavy stuff or some some heavy calls like right up front in this thing. As as I guess as any monarch should be responsible for, right? So they're planning out five total chapters of this. Yeah. Uh, and I hope I hope the remaining three come faster than this one did because it was like a good four months Second or something. Called in sick again. Uh, and that was a bummer. Hey, Wolfie. Hey! <laughs> ah, things are good. <laughs> oh, you look a little under the weather. Here. <sighs> Wolfie wouldn't want your new shiny hat to get rusty. Thanks, Wolfie. I needed a... Is this a literal bridge troll? Proving yes. ...is not exactly the adventure I was trained for. But King Edo chose you. Many, many people wanted that hat. Pilar applied like... Oh, 17 times. Did they explain how you became king at, at any point? No, like I said, it's you just they just throw you. I mean, I, I started this, I started a new game at the beginning of this quick look, so you've seen. You recovered all the stolen treasures. And uh, remember how you solved that impossible riddle? Those are King's Quest references. And that giant beanstalk I think. Scaled? Was that luck? Uh, <laughs> not. <laughs> well, yeah, no, they just throw you into it. The throne leaves me little time for questing. I'm just trying to be half the king. Dab, day, dab, dab. King Edo <laughs> wasn't perfect, little buddy. Daventry was a mess when you got it. <sighs> Wolfie's back scars, remember? Well, when you have a legacy like that, people tend to forgive your final years. Come on, little bandy. I'll walk you into town. I want to climb that guy. Yeah? I mean, you, you should play chapter one because you walk all over that guy repeatedly. I say that, I say that every day, but and, it's and really his, true right now. And his other, uh, his British troll friends. I guess the big surprise for me, and uh, now the chapter two is out, is that they are, uh, oh boy. They're sticking with the same cast, largely. Uh huh. Like, they built up some really good, uh, uh, amusing characters in the first one, and instead, because, you know, this, this is jumping around in time. Sure. Like, the menu implies, you know, every chapter of this game is going to take po a place at a different point in Graham's life. Uh-huh. Um, so I was kind of expecting, like, totally new cast of characters in every chapter and stuff, but they they created such an amusing roster in the first chapter. I'm actually kind of... Uh, oh, this range I'm kind of glad they're sticking with them. I mean, you'll see a bunch of them pop up here soon. The process of casting voice actors, I'm sure, is expensive. That's true, and, like, they, you know... Like, they've got... Christopher Lloyd is kind of leading the cast here, but they've got, like, Zelda Williams is in it. Who? Zelda Williams. No. Robin Williams' daughter. Oh, no shit. Uh, Wallace Shawn was in the first episode, but uh, I don't know if he's going to be back. I haven't seen him yet. Wallace Shawn, man. That's, that, oh, he's, that's a coup for a video game. Dude, he's so good. He's so good in the first chapter. Guys. And he's and he also is he's like basically playing his character from, uh, from The Princess Bride. There's a lot of good referential humor in this thing that's like not, not overdone or like heavy-handed. Like super topical, like this year. No, like no, 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 not like no. I mean, like, like they're like. What I mean is, like, there's a bunch of nods in ah, okay, to Wallace Shawn's character's sure. performance uh, to his Princess Bride character. Uh, but there's even like there's even a joke about like the Telltale like so and so will remember that stuff. You know what I mean? Do you play Telltale games? I I know what you're talking about. Yeah, like like the, there's like a joke about that stuff in the first chapter of this. That's like not. Super overblown. I wonder if Wallace Shawn ever gets tired of like people coming up and asking him about, you know, I, I don't know, land wars in Asia. I don't know that kind of stuff. I don't know, but there is there a puzzle in chapter one involving him that literally revolves around like multiple goblets, one of which is poisoned. They get <sighs> they get swapped around. It's either that or like so, my dinner with Andre. That's yeah, the, the two things he probably gets a lot. Sure. Uh, he's he's great though. He definitely rolls with it. Did we skip to a whole nother thing? No, this is a, like, all the chapters in this are flashbacks. Okay. Like, uh, you, you may have forgotten about this. That but this, book is levitating. This is old King King Graham here. Like, this entire, like, this is the framing device for this whole reboot. Ah, like, uh, okay. Old, old it's, sick King Graham is, uh, is telling, you know, tales of his adventures to his granddaughter. Gwendolyn, is that you? Come in. Again, another Princess Bride reference. Yes. Yeah, totally. You're actually. To be resting. So are you. I couldn't sleep. Neither could I. 
That's a lot of presents for a broken arm. Yes. Well, it certainly wasn't my most graceful tumble. I don't think he's I'm well. Sorry, I missed your fancy tournament. There's they, another one next week. They keep hinting that he might not be doing so great. Broken arms are known to uh, spread throughout the body. Yeah, it's true. Are you afraid of a storm, dear? I can't tell if Christopher Lloyd's doing a voice or if he's just gotten really gravelly. That, I have absolutely been wondering that throughout this whole thing so far. Like, is, is he old enough that that's just what he sounds like? <laughs> that is, doing that voice hurts after a while. Yeah. Like, doing that voice acting, like, doing these sessions must have taken a lot of, lot of tea. Yeah, I guess it... I guess it really a herbal did, tea. You would take it out of your voice if you were to... Talk like this at all times. I, I would do it, but I'd, I'd, I'd have to get warmed up first. And <laughs> you gotta get into get into character. Gotta, I'd do it on the night. You gotta. That's a really nice effect. Yeah, uh, yeah. This thing is on uh, Unreal Engine, and like, there's some pretty nice little graphical touches in it. How's the shooting? Like lighting wise and stuff. Uh, you jest, but Chapter One totally had shooting. Yeah, it had a, a bow and arrow or something. Yeah, it had had a couple little bow and arrow sequences. You had one, it was really frustrating. It was a really quick shot, wasn't it? Mm, yes, I think that's the case. But I mean, like, everything in this game is super forgiving. If you die, sure. you start right there again. It's not... That's not where the challenge is. I haven't quite figured this one out yet. What What is wow, going on is with like this Silent thing? Hill. I know, right? It's... It's creepy. It's a good idea, though. Bring your chair everywhere yeah. with you. It's like one of those little... Just, just put your chair on a wheel and roll it around everywhere. When they have those little, you know, those little canes that have the chair built into them. Yeah. For sporting events and stuff. Just get yourself a rascal. This really is jumping around a lot. Like, yeah, I felt like... Yeah, uh, you're right. I, the, when I played through this at home... I don't get how he got from the yeah. town hall to it'll, here. It'll start to become more clear, but I'm, I'm with you. The, the the way this chapter plays out in the first few minutes is pretty disjointed. I demand to speak to your king. No, 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 no. I couldn't see my own hand in front of my face, and I'm not sure I wanted to see anything else down there. <laughs> <laughs> so I tried to look up what Robin Hood's hat is called, and I googled Robin Hood hat, and all it just comes back is people selling Robin Hood hat. Like, I don't even know if it has a name for what mm. that, that type of hat is. I guess, ooh. I guess, I guess it is a Robin Hood hat, huh? I, that's, that's when you know you're, oh. you're influential. It's like Prince in his, his purple yes. jersey. It's just Prince's, Prince's shirt. Indeed. This is, this is a weird little sequence. Oh man, this... I'm back. Turn the gamma up. Yeah, right. Oh boy. Uh, there, there's a good, there's a good through line to to this thing too, like from it's chapter all, to chapter. All dragon stuff. Yeah. I, yes. I, I didn't, I didn't want to come out and say it, but yeah, there's just like stuff that, stuff that revolves around the dragon that pops up, uh, in multiple chapters. Sorry. I, I figured that would be pretty clear by the fact that that was the first thing you saw. Sure. Sure. When you started this up. Um, but I mean, you know, for a story that uh, that jumps back and forth in time a lot, like they, it's, this whole thing is really well written. Like it, it connects things up in, in a really satisfying way. From what I've seen so far, uh, got the jar. I got the jar. After right. the last two Hobbit yes. movies, I really need more dragons in my life. Mm, yeah, I didn't even. I saw the first one in the theater and then didn't see the other ones at all. Yeah, they. I didn't uh, even. I, I've put both of them on on HBO Go and like just let them go in the background <laughs> yeah. and like not really even paid attention to them. That was a good CGI. I'll give them that. I mean, even Peter Jackson came out after the third one was out and basically said they were unnecessary. <laughs> it was really uh, depressing. Not, not depressing, but I would like to see uh, Del Toro do those. It's too bad he walked away. Yeah. Or, or left. Have whatever. you have you ever seen some of the his concepts that got out? No, I bet they'd be great. Though. Like his concept for the dragon was weird. Yeah, he's probably not. He, his movies don't make a huge amount of money, so gotcha. I can see why yeah. they want to move on. I shall call you Newton. I, uh... I like Pacific Rim a great deal. People are oddly split on that movie. I'm gonna... I'm gonna not say anything. Okay. I'll retain my sound. That, that movie knows exactly what it wants to be and then nails it. I was exhausted. I just wanted to sleep. Blade 2. Blade I, 2? I like Blade 2. That's that's possibly my favorite 
Did you do no the first blade? No. Or just the second that one? Was, I, I, I saw Blade 2 in the theater, but not since. Uh, I don't, like and I didn't know who Del Toro was at the time, yeah. so I have no recollection. Anyway. Uh, Puzzle time! Yeah. So here I am in my cell. Sorry, that was probably too loud. Uh, this, this chapter does some interesting stuff. Like that. Look like I felt terrible. Like, you've got kind of a life bar of sorts. Oh, you only have three tries, so you're too tired? No, it's actually, it's, it's weirdly more complicated than that. Okay. Let me remember how to get out of this. How do I get out of this? Also, you notice how slow I am? Yeah, because you're tired. Yeah. You look terrible. So, uh, let me see if I can figure it out. How about that? Oh, well, shit. I may okay. have just given it away, but... Well, okay. I that, that was what I was going to go to first, but... Oh, is it? There you go. Yeah. Pull, pull the big giant obvious lever. That's probably your first step here. There's a really good Rick and Morty free web game that is kind of point, point and click adventure E, yep. which I was fooling around in today because they just announced a new mobile game. Uh, ah. So if you're looking for something free to play, that's pretty funny. Mm. Check that out. I shouldn't be talking about other people's games during a quick yeah, That's all right. Porridge? That's probably not porridge. You don't think so? Or is that going to make you stronger? We'll see. Maybe. Ew. It's squishy and cold. That's what she said. <laughs> Let's keep it clean, man. King's Quest is all ages. What are you even? Oh, so you're eating the. Felt a bit better, but still far. Oh, from I see. You're trying to get strong enough to do the thing that. See, you have look. To do. Now I run at normal speed. I see. Or kind of normal I, now speed. Now you're gonna have one yep. bar there. Yeah. Boom. Okay. Man, you were on top of it. Uh, now I'm strong enough to work this lever. Finally. Ah. <sighs> It's really weird that when you lifted the bar up, the stone went up too. Mm -hmm. You'd think it would have been a counterweight of some sort. Good night, Finn. It's fantasy, man. Sleep tightly. Just roll with it. Good night, Fuego. Sweet dreams, Freckles. I'm not sure how long I was trapped in that dark room, but I remember the day that everything changed. Hmm. No more porridge? Uh oh. These like goblins wearing walnuts or something? Something like that? Or tree bark? I don't know. It's uh It's a good way to not have to animate faces, right? If, you, I guess. if you're like working on a limited budget or something, I don't know. I don't know. That's my guess. But I don't know. I, th I think the animation in this game is fantastic. It's yeah, this stuff is not so expressive. It's not easy. Uh, and there's a ton of it. I, I, I've only gotten like an hour and a half, two hours into this chapter, but the first chapter was like longer than expected. That's even worse. The mean locked up. What monsters? Do do do. Uh. Let's, all right. Well, Are you still tired or what? Yeah. Yeah. Look at the. I, I love. The, I love the tired run <laughs> animation. Just the. Uh, looks so sarcastically know, just, like, uh, like the, the the hands just dangling. Just Paul Rudd in Wet Hot American Summer. Just oh god. Hang on. I wanna. I wanna get a little more of that. Uh, okay, Bob. I need more porridge. Mom, you're the worst. Uh, also, if Mr. Fancy poor Cakes, Mr. Fancy Cakes. I didn't stand a chance. A dangerous goat. It's the, it's the unicorn goat with the eye patch. But the 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 life bar stuff is the important thing. Mm -hmm. uh, Cause they, like that's a poor thing in this chapter. That was not in the first one. I'll, I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Probably can't be here right now. What happens if you walk up to him? Uh, you die. They're good death animations, at least, or oh, pretty good. Yeah. Uh, the the puns that come along with deaths are the are where the meat is, though. Then you gotta show us one. 
Okay. You should show us one. That one's maybe not amazing. Okay. So you've been kidnapping goblins. You don't know why yet, though. No. Correct? Okay. No. And I even don't know why because I haven't gotten out yet in my actual playthrough. Twenty? Graham? Is that you? Oh, I hope you're here to set us free. I wish. I'm just a goblin errand boy at the moment. Why are you guys down here? Oh, I, I'm not sure. No one is sure. The last thing I remember is whipping up a, a pickled ice cream cake for Bramble. Oh, hello, Graham. I'd get up to greet you, but I'm just so sleepy. Oh, you, you get your rest, Honey Muffin. I'll try to keep it down. Graham, Bramble, oh, she's not doing well. She's sick, needs medicine. The porridge was sustaining her, but they stopped feeding us. Yeah, it looks like the supply dried up. <laughs> Wonderful. Just great. Are they trying to starve us out? I swear if I get my hands on those little pieces of... Pity! Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Buttercup. Uh, go back to sleep. It's just... A fella could lose his compassion down here, you know? If you find any medicine, could you bring it to us? I I'm sure you could use a bite, too. Oh, no. There's enough love on these bones <laughs> to last quite a while. Thank you. I'll see what I can do. Uh, so like I said, yeah, returning, uh, returning cast members. I wonder if they had, a, had all these games scripted out to begin with and just know. did all the recording at once. Uh, I don't know. I have a feeling, I mean, with anything episodic, you, you kind of have to have that first... First episode out and see how good the sales are you to, to even know if you can even go well, on. Well, yeah, well, they were selling, a, like, a season pass, like, a complete season for this right up front. That doesn't matter if you go bankrupt, though. Well, it's funded by Activision, so... Ah, okay, all right. <laughs> I would hope they can finish it. Um. Hmm. What was nesting down here? Man, he really does have a good old man voice. Not the most elegant looking screen. Yeah, that's weird. I didn't see that at home, actually. Are you on SSD at home? Uh, I was playing it on, I'm playing on PS4 at home. Is that you? He's not a boy anymore, Chester. He's a king. King boy. <laughs> <laughs> has a nice ring to it. Oh, it does. Dad humor. Well, how can we help you? Don't you mean how I can help you? Oh, forgive Chester. His blood sugar is low. Uh, you got any snacks in that crowd of yours? I wish. Well, if you find some, let us know. We were working on something special to make these roots wilt away, but Chester can't remember the ingredients. Hello, little froggy friend. Mind if I taste your back? I'm sure I could make it worth your while. Oh, you better hurry. Chester gets a little weird when he hasn't eaten. Great characters. Yeah, not bad. I, I really enjoy everything they've done. Why are the goblins letting you run around? I don't know. You had one chore to do. Are you supposed to clean up those cobwebs? Yes. Okay. Once we're back, it's impossible to get out from behind the table. Uh, but like I said... Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? I'm okay right now, but... That is a thing. Turn for the worst coming on. That's a thing you have to keep track of in this. Mm. I won't say a whole lot about it, but like, uh, basically, as I as I've played through this chapter and also like looked up a guide, I've realized there's like a lot of different orders you can do things in in this chapter. Sure. Um, it looks like it. I mean, you got like three branches. And yeah. You can probably... Like, there's way more actually uh, more variability to it than I even realized the first time through. Uh, and like, if depending on the order that you do the puzzles in, like people can just straight up die apparently. Huh? Um, There's no timer or anything on, on it, is it? No, but like, uh, maybe we'll get to the first night or whatever, but like, you basically like, doing certain things will trigger like kind of the end of a day, mm -hmm. where they sort of throw you back in your cell, and people get weaker as the days go on, you know? So depending on like, who you give what, when... Uh, Everybody needs food, I guess. People might run out of hearts. Oh, that was their hearts? Yeah, that was oh, that's okay. like, like those hearts that pop up are eff effectively like a life bar on all these NPCs. Mm -hmm. Um, and somebody died in my first playthrough. King Graham. Uh, and I looked it up and like, you can't save everybody. 
Ah. They kidnapped you too? Kidnapped? I need to min max my, my King's Quest. Well, the only person who's required to die is not really a big deal, I guess I would say. Wait, there, say there's, there, is a, there is an achievement for sort of saving everybody. There is one death ah. that has to happen. This is, this is Zelda Williams. Don't you laugh at me, Pee Wee. You know what you did. So, you ready to bust out of here? Perhaps, with your help. Find me a blade and keep me healthy. What does it mean? She has a lot of hearts. Uh... Oh! Are they, they going to give you a different chore every day? No. But now I have a spider web. Who would have thought? Uh, let's see. Didn't the, uh, the old man want that or something? What's that? The, the old guy making a potion? Maybe he could use that? Want what? Spider web? Yeah. No. But you, that's what witches put in po potions. No, I, I know what spider web does. Oh. Okay. I, I could just tell you, if you like. Uh, you use it to make a... No, it, I have no idea. It's weird, though. I'm going over in my head, like, all right, what do I have right now, and, like, what order could I do things in differently? Than, oh, well, I guess... Bed. I don't have a choice here. So this is what I meant, like, you know. Sure. Eventually they will find you and... I was weak and barely... Toss you back in. I am for bed. <laughs> what? Why? Goblins are manhandling me. Goblin handling. Important which choice I made, but it was important I made a choice. You just got hazed, I think. Hmm. Maybe so. Yeah. Yeah, these load times in this PC version are a little weird. Who could that be? Grandfather, it's Gart. Can I come in? Oh yes, of course. Proceed. <laughs> Having a bit of a nightmare, son. <laughs> nightmare? Of course not. Your light was on, and apparently I have a lot to learn from your stories. Well, come on in. This kid sucks. I don't know if you figured that out. He's gonna be evil, I bet, right? He's, a, he's a kind of a dick. Now, where was I? Ah, uh, oh yes. Ah, oh yes, that's right. Good character establishment right off the bat. Yeah. Like one line, you already fucking hate him. Yep. <laughs> but what I could pass, it was now my responsibility to feed whatever was behind that door. All right. So, uh, you got to feed the dire rat. Well, I could, but look, Mr. Fancy Cakes is, is dwindling. He's down to two hearts. So you want the dire rat to die, just don't feed him. Well, that, that's absolutely, absolutely an option. So, not to just bust the mechanics of Chapter 2 wide open, but sure. that, like, yeah, that's exactly what I did the first time. I ran in here and fed him immediately, because uh -huh. I thought that's what I had to do. Uh, but it turns out you can do a lot of different things with this meat. Sure, everybody wants some meat. Um, you know what I mean? So feeding the rat gets me something that is very useful. Mm -hmm. But now I'm tempted to use the meat on something else and see what happens. Yeah, do it. Instead. Oh, uh, wait, now I'm trying, hang on, I'm trying to think. I think the old lady needed it worse. I think she only has four hearts, but I don't know what the, the, the goat guy. Yeah. She's uh, got a couple days left. Uh, Does he, what, what's that skull mean when, he, when he's... Oh, God. Wow. I smell a rat. Terrible. Apparently, Terrible. If, apparently if you just stand there too long, you die. Uh, what were you asking about a skull? Skull? I never said I skull. Thought you said something about a s Didn't you not just say something about a I said give it to the old lady. Oh, the skull on the uh, life bar, the unicorn goat guy. Oh, I, I assume that means he's going to die. Nobody else has a skull there, though. Oh. Maybe it means he's going to become, like, poison. I, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I don't know. Uh, how about... Oh, God, I'm trying to think. Okay, if I eat the meat, then I can do... Go give it to the old lady. Maybe I don't, maybe I shouldn't eat the meat. Okay. I could, but I don't think that would serve me very well right cut now. Cut the meat up into four portions and spread it out oh, through everybody that. so they all, they all get, get a, quarter, a little something. They all get know? a quarter heart back. Yeah, like Ray in Star Wars. Mm. Just, you get half a portion. 
It's your like, meat. I mean, like, like the Grinch. Can you go any it's, further up? It's heart those, will grow three three sizes too. What's that? Can you go any further up the stairs? Yes, I can actually. That's. Oh, you know what? That's a good idea because I, I need to weigh all options here with this meat. Definitely. Uh, and there's this dude. <laughs> I wonder how they do voice acting coaching for that. Like, if they write that out phonetically right. and just tell people to. I would. I'll show you this just to. You accomplished a lot then. Just to then make you understand why this, ah, why this is something you should do. <laughs> Very subtle. Yep. Master disguise. Yep. Good old adventure game logic. <laughs> Thanks to the magic of adventure game logic, not only is he stuck to this stupid spider web, but he will be stuck for the rest of this episode. <laughs> Pretty. Uh, yeah. There's some great looking stuff in this, actually. Short weeds had gathered at the bottom of some sort of goblin ladder. So these nice like shadows and stuff. Yeah. Welcome to commissary, may I? Oh, hey, look what the Yarble Snoops drug in. Serves you right, boy. You could have saved me, but now you're trapped here in the kingdom of the flying rocks, just like the rest of us. <laughs> well, adios, kid. You can take that silky cape and feathered hat and... Hey, is that a crown on your gourd? Are you kidding me? King Edward gave the throne to a spineless jitterbug? He never would have abandoned me. I was down, kid, and you punched me right in the majestic... <laughs> <laughs> I have no words. No, but... You stole my money. And another thing! I know what you're thinking. Yes, I do look crooked behind these bars, but the only thing criminal around here are these prices. And today only, I have a special deal just for boot washers like you. Selected items are half price, times four. Uh, that's fun. Can you actually I, buy stuff from it? That's fun because I saved him in my playthrough of Chapter 1, uh, so I got a completely different scene when I rolled up here. Uh, I'm sorry, what were uh, you asking? A good scene or a bad scene? Oh, well, it was just different, different okay. dialogue. He reacted much more positively. Uh, I'm sorry, what did you want me to do? Uh, can I see your wares? Can I see the merchandise? Oh, ooh. Stay back, don't want to disturb it. Never disturb perfection. This little baby is a cure-all, a pick-me-up when you're feeling down, a mix-in for fixing everything from your jowls to your bowels. How much? One shiny gold coin. A come back when you have more money. I can tell by the distinct lack of jingle in your pocket. Uh, I don't What's the UI here? Are you just clicking back and forth? You're actually no, viewing. You kind of look around at stuff. Wow, that's weird. Uh, kind of. I don't know. I like it. There's quite a few places where you have to do stuff like this just to eyeball some detail. Maybe uh, some Easter eggs. Yeah. I don't have any money, so. Can you choose to do that wherever you want, or just no, to... just specific spots. Okay. Um, but I think they uh, they strike a really good mix in this of like. I wasn't going to let myself be stopped by a door. Ooh. I by a door. It. Many difficult quests, but I might need a key. Just in case you were thinking you could buy those chopsticks and pick all these locks everywhere? Uh-huh. Don't. Don't try that. I would not have thought that. I would not think that a That's what chopstick I... could pick a lock. Oh, you can try to pick all these locks with the chopsticks. Okay. You might be wasting your one gold coin on that, I can tell you. Oh, there might be something else you can use. From experience. Uh... Just a bit more strength, and I would be able to do that. You mean like if I had two biceps instead of one? Uh, the thing I was going to say is that they strike a really good balance between like classic adventure game puzzles of kind of like use X on Y mm -hmm. type stuff. And then, then there's like, the hacking like the, minigame that the, pops Yes, up. absolutely. The lockpicking and hacking minigames. Um, but no, you know, like sometimes it'll go to that first person view and you have to kind of look around at details. Yeah. Once in a while there's an action sequence. This there's, is a really big... Big, uh, like, cave system. Yeah. Is there a map that you have? No. Just kind of Dark Souls? You yeah, gotta, you just kind of have to find your way around. Like, the, sure. first, the first chapter was a little confusing to remember your way around as well. I kind of have a feeling for the for the layout, but uh, yeah. I, if I... This one's 
a little more straightforward than chapter one was. They kept slipping through my fingers. I need to find some other way to catch a fly. Gonna get another spider web for that? Oh, you need a friend. Uh, I can't open that door. Uh, all right. Should do something that's meat. I'm gonna let you pick. Uh, give it to the old lady. Okay. I don't even know if you can do that. Let's find out. I have out. no idea. She might not I even. Don't know if, I don't know if. Oh, the, the old lady, not the baker's wife. You mean? The 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 the, the dirty ones. The the post what? The dirty ones. I'm what sorry. Is the dirty skin. I, what? I, I'm sorry. What are you trying to say? I'm saying they have dirty skin. They're oh. very dirty. Okay. Not her. The other the old people. All right. No, those are the dirty ones. The old people are, are fine. Wait, what? The, the dirty ones are back there that you just passed, but I want you to give it to that the old. Was, that was the baker's wife. Yeah, and I'm saying they're, they have dirty skin. The other one, the people over here making the potion, give it to her. Oh, okay. She only, she only had like two health bars. I, I, don't, I don't know that I want to. I'm not going to ask, man. Go back and look at them. They got dirty skin. Okay, yeah, give it to them. Okay, well, since you can give the meat to the people in the cages, that's like five different things that I can think of you can do with the meat at any, any given time. You didn't know that? Or did you not do it the last I've time? I've never tried it. I've gone through two days of, of this in my playthrough, and the first time I fed the rat, and the second time I fed myself. Ah. So I could operate more. You know, there's a bunch of levers around, and like that sword and the stone. Sure. It's like, if you had a more strength, you could do this. So I did that. I wonder what... But what happens the, if you... The point is, like I said, like you're, it's, it's this weird nebulous process of like... Trying to min-max like who gets the food and like try to keep everybody alive, you know. Uh, it's a it's a weird little setup for an adventure game. Are you... I say everybody should get it by merit exclusively. Apologies, been working on that. Cat, will this potion make you turn into a? Claude Feline. Oh, it's nothing special. Just weed killer. We think we can ride away these roots to escape. Bring us the eye of a fly, boy, and keep up with the treats. Hmm. Yeah, I would have taken the other path. Is this story about your choices or mine? You know, I was reading this article about a uh, French painting of prostitution in the late... 19th century mm -hmm. and the word apparently there was a time where you could be pretty open about pr presenting that kind of stuff mm -hmm. and there's a time it ought to be coded and like hinted at and okay. a, cats were always used to denote that a woman was possibly a prostitute or a courtesan because in French the word shot or I don't know how to pronounce it C-H-A-T-T-E uh -huh. has the same kind of connotation as Another word for cat in English has for genitalia. And okay. I thought that was really interesting. So gotcha. all these painters would have these, you know, just a guy and a girl talking, and it's pretty innocuous, but then you see a cat poking through the skirts, and like, oh, that's a, that's a prostitute. Huh. Back to it. And that's, that's purely linguistic in origin? Apparently, yeah. You know the that's word just, I'm talking about in English. Uh, yes. Another word for cat. Yes, of course. Yes. Okay. So. Well, I'm talking about as opposed to like the, the, you know, like the visual metaphor of a flower or whatever. Uh, no, it's, it's straight it's, up a cat. It's just a... It's a no, no, I'm just saying it's just the word, not... Okay. It's a word thing. It's yes. like, hint, hint, yes, wink, no, wink, no, nudge, I, nudge. I absolutely know what you mean. All right. I can be more explicit. No, I, it's all... Okay. Uh, so, yeah, like I said, I you know, we've burned our daily meat on those people. <laughs> that is... I want to find another activity that, to apply that phrase to. Uh -huh. Burn the daily meat. Yeah. But it, we didn't... have a few. <laughs> but all we got out of it was another puzzle, you know? Yeah, you got a hint to you need to get flies to that guy. Is that, is that right? What but but yeah, but I've gotten to that point in my playthrough, and I still haven't figured out how to get fly. So maybe there's another spider web somewhere you can use. Like if I if I had if I had fed the rat or myself, those give you tangible things that will let you kind of. That push. guy has a gold coin. I thought there was only the one. He does, and but. I know how to get it. But if I already used the meat, so I can't. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. No, like, I get it. I get exactly what you're saying. Like there, the, there's the choice. There's... That, the choice that we made here has left me in a spot where I feel like I've made no progress. Whatsoever, I don't know. Uh, I'm sure it's there, fine. It's, I, I'm, yeah. not, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's just that this this chapter in particular, the way it's set up, like it, it's. I'm definitely sure there's there's some optimal there, way to do this. No, there absolutely are. There, um, there is. But it looks uh, like there's like two possible exits: that ladder and the the door with two handles. So I'm assuming that the the people that you free will have some 
some way of, of getting yeah. you out. Yeah, but, all uh, the cages have... Metal lock. You know, all the cages have locks on them. Uh, I think I see already how to get out of this prison altogether, but mm. I, that's like three or four puzzle steps away. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I kind of, I kind of like that about this that the, you have to kind of make some tough choices here. And but it's not just like a dialogue tree of like, you know, do A or B. You know, it's it's more puzzle based. This could really be a text adventure if it if it if it had been made in, in another era. Is the two stones mean you have to have two? Two. Oh, I didn't even think about that. I guess you're right. Yeah. Probably means you have Every, two. Everything that I've seen that uh, that I was able to operate with two biceps has two stones on it. So you're totally right. It'll be really weird when you have three biceps. See, that'll good. that'll oh, mean yeah, you have to right. grow, an, grow another arm. I guess you're right. Uh, this thing's really clever. Yeah. I think it's cool. It seems fun. Uh, I I am like continue to be super impressed. Uh, have I been down here? The I mean the the important thing is that the writing's good. I mean this yes. game could be exactly the same way graphically and gameplay wise, yeah. but if it wasn't like Clever or funny, then it probably wouldn't be something that I would uh, really be enthusiastic I mean, uh, about. Uh, this thing, like uh, two chapters in, is surpassing my, all of my expectations, but especially the writing. Like, so it's, do you? It's really, it's really well done. Do you not go back to sleep until they come catch you, or can you go ahead and uh, short circuit and go back to the? Or, I don't, I don't know. Having having made the choice we made with the meat, I actually don't know because. Yeah, you got nothing else to. Like I said, I don't know where to go from here because giving it to the rat gives you one benefit. And mm -hmm. like I said, eating it yourself gives you another one, but giving sure. it to those people, I, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm just a softie, you know. I feel I no, feel I, for I, the I'm common gonna, person. I'm not gonna I knock just it. Have this, uh, we charitable sleep? instinct I that I can't if, really. Can I just sleep? I wonder if I could just sleep. Uh, that's what I was saying. I if I could just someone... advance things a day. Maybe you should just go to sleep over and over again and see what happens. Everybody, everybody eventually dies. Oh, these people are getting rid of all your inventory yes. items, I guess. Yes. So if you have a coin on you, you have to use it that day. Okay, since you figured that out, I'll show you. I'll show you what I know. Everyone was relying on me, and I knew I was going to have to make some hard choices. They're not, they're not especially subtle about that part of it. It's really funny that he accepts coins, but he can't, you can't give him that crown yeah. to get his items. Yeah. Couldn't hold on another day without medicine. Oh, wow. I hadn't even seen that. They're just straight up telling you who's going to die if you don't take action. Well, time to burn the daily meat. Uh, uh, I'll just go ahead and tell you, uh, it's the it's the Mr. Fancy Cakes and Bramble quandary, okay? Uh, where you can't save both. I looked it up. Bramble, who's Bramble? Bramble is the baker's wife. Okay. Um, there's there's no way to get both of them through alive. Let's just, is let's just go ahead and cross this bridge. We won't we won't go too much farther in this, but uh, since you were asking about this stuff. Now you can get a coin. This Think? looks like an excellent hiding place. See, so I haven't done this yet, but, but the way they do this, I assume you can hide stuff in here. Yeah, maybe. Uh, oh, like a coin, in case you don't want them to steal it. Well, yeah, so I've picked up certain items later on in this that are literally flagged as contraband. Like it's got a little asterisk on it in oh. the text description and says contraband. It's in red in your inventory. Uh, oh boy. It's a whole nother story entirely. I couldn't yep. help but be afraid. The survival. The dragon's all in his head, see? Totally up to me. The last time I faced something like this, it didn't end well. Yeah, so there's a, there's a little bit of pathos with that, because you. A thing happened in chapter one that. Yeah. Like the beginning of uh, Mad Max, you know? Yeah, all exactly. Time. Yes, it's totally that. Like, it's, you know, there's, there's a good slow build to this thing from chapter to chapter, from what I've seen so far. Uh, anyway, we could probably stop here in a minute. Yeah, but you maybe. Want me to, do you want me to use that chair where you... Sure, I want to see you get the gold coin. Where you know that I can use it? I want to see the animation for that. Uh-oh. Oh, no! About Bramble, do you know why she's sick? See? Yeah, the conditions down here are terrible. Uh, no, Graham. Um, she's pregnant. We're expecting... See, dirty skin. I didn't mean anything by it. Okay. They're just really dirty. All right. I got mud on them. Okay. Well, I'll give you that. Congratulate me after you bring us medicine. I don't know that goat. Yeah. Pretty, pretty, pretty cute. Ah, dude, I don't know. I really like Mr. Fancy Cakes, but I don't know if I can just let a pregnant lady die. <laughs> it's pretty harsh. Looks sturdy. 
Uh, all right, I have a coin. Yeah, so I bet if you hide the coin in the, in the treasure chest, when they come to a come to a roust you before bedtime, it'll probably stay in. Well, there. I think that's the idea. But who needs that when you could just go spend the coin right now? You yeah. know, on food for yourself. I'm really tempted to buy the, since this isn't my actual save, I kind of want to just buy that potion and give it to the goat. Have you tried the potion yet? Yeah, I gave it to Bramble in my game. The cure-all? Yes. And she lived. So she needs medicine, not food. Yes, she's fine once you give her that medicine. Okay. But there's only one bottle of medicine. Sure. You see. What are you buying? Ooh, I'm not sure if that was a Resident Evil 4 joke or not. Perfection. This little baby is a cure-all. A pick-me-up when you're feeling Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take it. You got yourself a deal. I have procured the only bottle of medicine in that prison. But who should I give it to? Goodbye. Pasta la vista, you meatball. Hey. Hey. Who are you going to give this medicine to? You already know what it does for Bramble. That's what I'm saying. That's why I want to give it to the goat. Oh, sure. Go for it. Oh, yeah. wait, oh, Is he right. sick too? I, I, that seems to be the case. It's down here, right? I wonder if there's any any true fail state for this. Like if you can actually let everybody die and you can't get out. I don't out. know. I don't know. That seems like it would suck because I would be probably far enough along where you can't actually go back and like right. fix a mistake. Well, especially because these are all major players and or they were major players in the first chapter. So like if... if if you continue on and most of them are dead, like how does that factor in? Who knows? Maybe they all cast a spell uh, and they all come back to life or something. Because you know, there's, the chair. There's, there's, the, there's, there's the achievement for saving everybody, so that implies you can get through without saving everybody, which... Who knows what will happen? Sometimes there is no right answer, but that doesn't mean there's a wrong one either. Hmm... Huh? Pregnant woman, one-eyed goat. I don't know. You tell me. <gasps> I knew Mr. Fancy Cakes was hard-headed, but I never expected he could do this. You know, Wait. Fancy cakes in your <laughs> How is this battle not already won? That's old, old-school RPG. Yep. There was a uh, character in Baldur's Gate 2 you could have a baby with, and then it would just be in your inventory for yeah, the rest of it. That's I think... Good. Uh, Josh Sawyer was talking on Twitter today about one of the early prototypes they did for a game where you could actually strap a character to your back and use them as a backpack. Yeah. Yes, I'm so paying attention. That would never work. That sounds ridiculous. So you can use fancy cakes to yes, just knock as, down walls? Yeah, just as ridiculous as carrying a goat around in your pocket and using it on stuff. Uh, all right, well, obviously saving the goat and not the ladies gives you some other benefit in puzzle solving terms. So that's interesting. It seems like there's a bunch of different ways you could play through this thing. It does seem like there are uh, a bunch I, of I actually, iterations. I actually think at first I found it a little confusing and kind of like stressful because I knew people's lives were ticking down day by day. Yeah, but I but get now that, I actually think it's kind of fascinating. I get that weird kind of anxiety sometimes too yeah, where I, I know something's, I gotta do it. But that's all the more reason to just play it again. How's she feeling? Uh, Not sure she'll make it another day. Well, that's bad. Can I take a look around <laughs> your cell? I'm too hungry to deal with your questions. Oh boy. Uh, Is that an oven? Well, it could be with some wood. Anyway, all right. Don't give her the chair. They can use that to make a food thing of the lobs. To serve you well, King. Ah. Oh. I'm far too weak. To Have a little. Get, get up and go. Just give her a Red Bull. That's. You know what? Hang on. Speak. <laughs> can I take a look around your cell? I'm too hungry. Oh, I can't. I can't, can't pick I can't, up the. Is that an oven? I can't inventory from here. You can't throw the chair in there. I think they have to do it for no, you. No, the chair is what they need. I've done it. Oh, okay. But I guess not with her sick. Really uh, you probably have to cure her before they can start a fire. Yeah. Uh, but that ship certainly sailed already. Anyway, yep. I, uh, I think this seems pretty great so far in a different way than the first chapter was great. Or it's got, you know, they, they went a different way with it uh, in terms of how the puzzles work and stuff, uh, which is great. Back back in when they had a rocket launcher. Um, yeah, sure. Yes, the the no scope headshot. Episode shot. four. The head, the, the yeah, the no scope mode is coming in chapter three, I think. This looks cool, Brad. Uh, yeah, I am. I continue to be del delighted at how this the King's Quest reboot has turned out. Uh, like it's, in some ways, it's doing things 
differently and better than the original King's Quest games were. Slow and January for uh, games uh, might be worth uh, yeah. checking out if, if you have. It seems like this has a fair amount of gameplay. Yeah, and, you played a couple chapter times. one of this was free on PlayStation Plus last month, oh, wow. so hopefully people grab that because uh, I, I highly recommend you play that at least and see if you like it. Uh, Hello. It's awesome. Did they I, just make a QA phase joke? Maybe. Yeah. There's <laughs> like I said, there's a, a decent amount of fourth wall busting in this thing. Um, yeah. Uh, I hope they get the other episodes out faster. Sure. But Six um, months seems like a while, but yeah, this has like a fair four, amount of production like quality. Four or five, it. but yeah, like the production is extremely, extremely nice. Uh, yeah, King's Quest is good. Play it. Thanks, Rory. Thank you. What's that stump for? We dug out a